Thank you for your interest in Banner Engineering's XS26-2 safety controller. In this introductory tutorial, we will briefly review the programming environment and cover basic information to help you get started. Always review the manual for full details on setup and configuration to adhere to safety standards for your application. After launching the programming software, you will be in the equipment view of a new configuration screen. The navigation toolbar along the top of the screen gives access to all basic functions needed for creating a new project or accessing recent project files, opening a project file stored on your computer, saving project files to your computer, printing project documentation, adjusting network settings if applicable for the controller you've selected, as well as adding project-specific information for documentation purposes, managing security levels and passwords, and reading and writing configuration files to and from your controller. In addition to the equipment view, which conveys which base controller and expansion modules are used in the current project, other views used in the program to define the application include the functional view, the wiring diagram, ladder logic, industrial ethernet virtual status output allocations, and the configuration summary. Also observe the checklist and properties box on the left side of the screen which will aid you as you program and navigate through your projects. In our next tutorial, we will begin to select system hardware and explore the basics of input and output selection options.